So let me begin my discussion about chakras by explaining what they are first. So first of all, a chakra is an energy center within the body. They're like valves. Some people call them wheels, and that's kind of what chakra means. But think of them more like valves. And they control the flow of energy through various parts of the body, but not just the physical energy of the body, they also spiritual energy as well. But regardless of that, let's just keep it physical for now. So there are major chakras, minor chakras, and external chakras. So the major chakras usually lie right along the center line here. There are five, seven, and eight chakras, depending on which school of thought you follow. The seven chakra system is the most common. The minor chakras are not located along the center. They are located along the body and other parts. There are lots of different minor chakras. There are 21 minor chakras that are agreed upon across the various systems. The external chakra, for example, sitting right up here, there is the, the God's Gate chakra. Those right there are even less agreed upon. There are some schools of thought that claim you have an external chakra about 21 kilometers straight up above your head. There's a chakra between your knees. There's chakras into the ground beneath you. Um, but like I said, the major chakras, there's like three different schools of thought or three different systems out there. Then there's the minor chakras, which only 21 of them are in agreement across the schools. And then there's the external ones. Hardly anyone agrees about the exact nature. I mean, the, the God's Gate chakra seems to be common across all of them. But like the one that's 21 kilometers up above your head, you know, not everyone agrees that it's there. So it's something that still needs more research if you're into researching that in particular thing. But most importantly, if you're doing yoga, the practice is the most important thing. If you are going to be concerned with chakras, then don't go like everyone else goes where they go, open your chakras, because it's not about opening them. I like to call it find the Goldilocks zone on your chakras. So in other words, you don't want them too open and you don't want them too closed. If they're too closed, you're starving downstream areas of energy. If they're too open, you're flooding downstream areas with energy, which is sometimes more destructive than if you're starving the area of energy. Both will end up resulting in death of the system. So you want to turn that valve just right so the proper amount of energy is flowing through. If we're looking at the flow of water, we want laminar, tranquil flow of the water through the system. Same with our energy through our chakras.